several teams, right? Team Liquid, Inc. Mm. are all just packing in so many dang Elums. But, uh, yeah, up, up at the end of the day, right? Only one team can walk away with that winner with a chicken dinner. Yeah, what do you think about that strategy here, Seven, right? For a team like Team Liquid, right? They started off with seven eliminations, obviously going for those points early on, but they did get taken out early. So do you think that that was a good idea for them, especially, you know, since it's the first game of the, of the tournament and it's Sandhawk? I mean, at this point, I don't think it was even an idea. I think it was something that they just kind of had to react to, considering that the hot drop mm. just just happened to be on their on, on their plate. And the good thing, if we're gonna get anything about that hot okay. drop, is how well they were able to react to. It. I mean, we saw Cardozo being up in the mountain, being able to get those off angles, and then being able to relay a lot of information. The synergy was just there, and it was it was a pleasure to see. See, look here at the damage graph and Zebra Master 2300 damage, DK. Are you kidding me? Did you really expect, out of all the teams that are coming in from the qualifiers, it was going to be Zebra Master to start off so strong? If I'm being honest, no. Right. They they really caught me on uh, off guard on that one. But, I mean, it's a great start, a great way to assert yourself coming into these premiums, kind of setting the standard here. I mean, they, they went up against so many strong teams. Right? We've got Navi, we've got Regnum Karia, we've got... Smoke also being one of those exceptional performers coming through, but you know, they just found something that worked for them and Zebra Master, they just lined it up and they just kept on going. Oof, non-stop, man. I mean, that's, this is, like I said, it was the dream scenario for his team, especially one of the qualifying teams, because when we were watching the qualifiers, I mean, I had it in my head, I was like, man, these guys are going to get destroyed by these partner teams. I'm going to be honest, I mean, because these, these are some monster names, and to see this team start off with 15 eliminations i can't express how insane that is folks i mean it is totally possible that we don't see a 15 elimination game all week that's how crazy it is yeah i think we barely got a chance to see a 16 elimination if i'm not mistaken in in the qualifier so yeah great way to start off the prelims okay i'm not complaining i would like to see more and as we were seeing the leaderboard there, they made Galaxy with that second place finish. They did end up with four eliminations. And three out of those uh, four eliminations were actually from Coops, according to what we were able to see during the match there. So it's good to see that not only is Nygma Galaxy being able to play like how we're used to seeing them play whenever they are able to control a compound, they take full advantage of it. But Coops is bringing in that heat as well this year. He's bringing in that firepower right off the bat. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting because here for the prelim and prelims, you got to remember everybody, it's all about that top eight. That top eight is what's going to make you on over to that main event. And it's going to be led by our MVP right here, DK. Oh, yep, yep. Coming through with four Elims. Zebra Master is definitely going to be representing. I mean, looking at the amount of damage also that, uh, you know, Neil Zara was able to find in this game, definitely showing so, so much aggression here. And, I mean, you can't really fault anything that was happening in on the Zebra Master side. It's a good, uh, I think, healthy approach, right? But now, the big question is going to be, how will they be able to maintain this momentum? Are we going to see them being able to flourish all the way through for the rest of the day? Yeah, and for everybody that was watching, you know, I think you definitely got to start that single tap from long range. We just saw him <laughs> right there, right? You know, just got that QBZ. I think we've seen too many teams just like, you know, too many players just focus on that full spray from distance. But that single tap showing up strong here, Seven. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned not only just a single tap, the distance that they were taking some of those fights too. That was what, what was a little bit more impressive to me. The proactiveness, they were able to find themselves in a good spot. They knew that they had a good spot. So you know what? If nobody's currently challenging you, instead of just sitting down and being waiting ducks, be a little bit more proactive. They were doing that. They were affecting other fights. And they were also being able to possibly steal some eliminations too. So everything you want to see out of this team. Now as we're going to be going into match two. As we're going to be going into Erangel. For, for the back to back to back Erangel maps coming up. How are they going to be reacting? What happens if you do end up having possibly a bad match here in the first Erangel? The beauty of it is that you do have two more to come. Yeah, and the beauty of it as well is the fact that you, you did so well at Sandhawk that it kind of gives you that buffer. I always say if you want to be a championship team, when you can get those good opportunities, you get those good positions, you have to take full advantage of it, right? Yep. A chicken dinner, it's great. A chicken dinner with three eliminations is, is good as well, right? A chicken dinner with 15 eliminations is insane. You know, it's just like astronomical. So, <laughs> you know, those games where, you know, if you don't get that zone, you, know, you kind of struggle off the start. To have a game like that already under your belt, these guys are going to be big chilling. Because at the end of the day, you know, eighth place, first place, they're both going to go over to that main event. So it's going to be interesting to see how they kind of step on the gas here for the rest of the day. I'm expecting.
anticipating a little bit of that pop of play to come through now, right? The nerves for the team should be should be adjusted, right? First game out of the way. Now we're heading into the bread and butter of PUBG. So I think definitely Aaron Gale is going to be a great opportunity to see a little bit of that resurgence now starting to come through, right? We're going to see teams like the Xavier really bring through that flavor out on the battlefield. So I'm really hyped about it. Yeah, I'm interested to see if we're going to be getting any hard drops. With how many hard drops we ended up getting in Sandhog, right. obviously given Sandhog is a smaller map, but we're used to seeing possibly if any just one hard drop for us to end up having, I think, something along the lines of four, maybe more. G keep it going. Yeah, 100%. Well, we got an interview. Let's go ahead and take it on over back to the main stage. Primeiramente, tem algum time ou oponente que você queria enfrentar no futuro? He believes that he would like to um, play with Abra. Awesome. Okay, so this last match was quite impressive. So, how does the win, the first match, impact the team confidence for the next match? Como influenciar essa ganância no primeiro jogo com o seu equipe? Como será os seus sentimentos? Eu acredito que nós viemos, vamos ganhar muita confiança para o próximo mapa e com isso eu acredito que vamos terminar o dia bem. They believe that they will finish the day uh, well and that it will increase their confidence. Has already increased. Yeah, all right. So I want to know the uh, expectations for the next match will be in a range of maps so the the team zebra master managed to go well to go good in the a range of map e as uh, expectativas para o próximo uh, para o próximo jogo o zebra master vai ficar como vocês vão ir com qual com as expectativas então nós estudamos muito os times hey 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 please do start fast uh, they have started other teams uh, very well, yeah, it's so we believe well. it will be a nice game for them. Awesome, ah. thank you so much for the interview and good luck in the next map. Alrighty there, that's how you get it done. So, I mean, Ian, what more could you really say? I mean, yeah, the great game one was astronomical. We're a big chillin'. You know, at this point, all we gotta do is just ride the wave and we're gonna be headed to the main event here. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, you, you know what I was thinking in regards to uh, Zebra Masters is, do Brazil! I had to get one in, alright? I, I had yeah. to get one in. That one's out of my system now, okay. <laughs> there we go, there we go. DK, do you have any other uh, slogans that we're going to be hearing for the rest of the day? Uh, nothing that comes to mind just yet, right? I mean, maybe for Nigma Galaxy it would be, oops, there it is, but, uh, yeah. And that's going to happen to us. Man, I tell you what, if Coop got that 1v4, I would have been screaming, Coops! You know what I'm saying? Because are you kidding me? That would have been insane. But I mean, there's nothing you can do in that kind of situation. Zebra Masters, they knew that Chica Dinner was theirs. They locked it down and had it in the bank. So my question to this is this, Seven. You know, we saw the hot drops in game number one, right? But before we get into that, we got to, of course, give a big shout out to the hottest phone right now, the real me. 12 Pro Plus. Elevate your photography with 120x zoom. It also elevates your gameplay as well. Go check it out today. And man, you know what? I'll tell you what. Hopefully we see some more hot drops here too. And my question is this. Do you think that that is a strategy for them to try and, you know, really put their spots possibly for that main event? So that's going to be my question. For, for, which, for which team? Sorry, I didn't... It's gonna be it's gonna be for uh, uh, teams like you know uh, the, the some of the the teams that we saw hot drop. Right? Oh, okay, okay. I, nah, I think they're definitely not gonna be hot dropping. <laughs> Just the first game thing. That's why I was saying I was surprised that there were so many hot drops. I'm interested to see how many hot drops we're gonna be getting from the first Aaron Gale, and I think after that it'll probably just kind of you know what slow down a bit, maybe until the last thing we'll, we'll see some uh, Team Falcons type stuff from the qualifiers again. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and take it on over to a quick little video from Rumi. Hot! 
जी तो स्टार्ट ना हो रहा है सुन Game two, Aaron Gill for the first time. And we just saw what happened in Sandhawk. I can't wait to see. We've been talking about it with hot jukes. I can't wait to see if we're going to be getting some more hot drops and which teams are going to be willing to take those hot drops as well. I'm going to be looking at over Pachinki, maybe some military base, possibly Primorsk as well. If you were to pick a hot drop location in here, where would it be, DK? Um, I would definitely go for Pachinki, right? I want to see a little bit of that Pachinki. I'll go military base, the <laughs> favorite like, place. I mean, we did see ever, a little bit of that in the qualifiers, but I want to see, uh, you know, some added extra pressure coming through there. <sighs> yeah, and I think, I think, honestly, I would be surprised if we don't at least get just one hot drop, right? Just, just give me one. I'm still on that high. It's off to the people. The hot drops that we saw earlier from Sandhawk. We're talking military. about Super Masters, how dominant they were able to be there in Sandhawk. Now with Aaron Gill, obviously a much, much bigger map. I wonder if they do find themselves in a great position. As I was all talking about hot drops, guess what? We're able to get one right away between Insanity Sports and Next Ruya. Who's going to end up winning this one as uh, Insanity Sports already has one player eliminated? Yeah, they've got one eliminated and one still coming in. So uh, this definitely looks like it could maybe still swing either which way. It's, it's fast as fingers first, right? Especially in the early stages, there's going to be a little bit of the utility use in the coming through. Here. Let's see whether or not Kine can get any of that play secured as, uh, well, even more now, starts to crumble on his sanity. And here we go. Here comes the push. Next year, you're going to be going for it. Some of these players don't even have a vest. If they're going to be willing to take the chance, now is the time. As you're going to back up a little bit, Kane, making sure he confirms that elimination right there. And there you go, being able to get another knock, confirming that elimination, and it's only just one player alive from Insanity Sports, as he's going to be making sure he runs away out of all the locations that I mentioned for a, for a hot drop. That, of course, this is one that I didn't mention, <laughs> Peter being one of them. But hey, you were asking for it. You might actually end up getting it, as we do have two teams here in Pochinki. Yep, yep, and it's gonna be Enigma, Galaxy, and the Xavier. I mean, I know that is where Enigma likes to go, so I'm curious to see if uh, any of that is gonna be happening. In the meanwhile, we also have a little bit of action here with N Hyper all the way over into the side of Lobovka. So I want to see what Virtus Row are gonna be bringing onto the battlefield because we didn't see that much from them over on Sano. 
yeah i wouldn't get a chance to see any of them as they ended up getting i think it was the first team that ended up getting eliminated and guess what they're gonna be finding themselves in another hot drop i was asking for just one well i might just end up getting three hot drops if the teams in uh, pochinki end up fighting as well and and hyper one of the teams that actually ended up surprising me with the way they were able to play off that sandhog having to fight their way into the circle fairly a new team a lot of the players i have i'm actually not familiar with and the main player that i am familiar with she fan is currently not even playing so can we continue to see more adjustments out of in hyper here as everybody likes to call them the na hopes <laughs> i mean let's let's hope uh they can find their footing because button just goes right on down that's up to ffs the fss maybe go <laughs> trying to, to scrape the way on through uh, Capri though, sort of pretty agile on the edge, but in hyper taking a really interesting approach here. Yeah, very interesting indeed because they, they ended up sending one player that waited for the player of N-Hyper to get knocked and then all of his other teammates actually end up sending it as well and they need to be careful because there is two players, three players actually still alive here from Virtual Pro. They're going to start getting off angles and hyper might need to slow it down a little bit. I know they're currently seeing red. I know they're currently seeing elimination points, but they need to be careful because Virtual Pro is now starting to set themselves up here for a for much better fight that's going to end up favoring them. We talk about striking while the iron is yeah, whatever like the, the players in the middle of the race, yeah. And of course, Milky Way sending stars far, far away back into the lobby. Now, let's see where this one is going to take us. Capri trying to defend their compound. But it seems like uh, Virtus Pro just slightly dialing back on the aggression. And I think that would just be just a right in time with Furia now starting to move up. It is, and considering that this team right now, we got a chance to see earlier the circle. They are so far away from it, too. At what point do you decide to just back off? You know what, Virtus Pro, you got one elimination. You're more than likely going to end up getting another elimination here because I doubt in Hyper is going to be able to revive that player that's currently knocked and down. When do you start focusing on what that circle is going to be? Because that's going to be a tough fight. And as you mentioned, Furia is currently waiting for them. There you go, Stars finally gets eliminated. up on the hill so there's quite a bit of pressure now on for N hyper and Virtus Pro shots starting to rain in from up above you can see Furia also starting with a beautiful spread here I mean if N hyper played this one carefully we could actually see them potentially escape over on towards that northern side well this is now the go time because Milky Way just got spotted and he's more than likely going to get end up getting eliminated there as Capri was able to put some more shots there for in hyper Furia just trying to get lucky here trying to see if they can possibly third party any of these fights going on and hyper is going to end up getting the elimination and I think for Virtuous Pro we're hoping you even mentioned it, they're starting to back up a little bit more I think they didn't fully commit to it because they ended up losing another player and now that hot drop turns into pretty much an equal it's still two players alive from each team nobody ended up winning and now we're gonna find ourselves possibly in a bit of a stalemate here as that zone even though it's not gonna be causing a lot of damage it is gonna be setting you up to get third party like not right now furia is looking to get that third party ver versus bro getting another <laughs> player eliminated from their team uh but i gotta say it looks like furia is looking to do those teams dirty back in the park all right i mean they just fully encircling them but speaking about encircling Cabo. There's a little bit of that now happening on the side of the galaxy. Well, at least they front line, right? The Xavier going up onto the hills. It's a true now, just trying to find a bit of an opportunity. Lord. Lord down the low, getting the beat. Getting a little bit of that hot, hot action coming their way. Both teams are just so cautious here. Yeah, one of the players there from Nygma Galaxy does end up getting knocked. This is the only thing, the biggest question mark that I do have for Nygma Galaxy. This team can be so good whenever they are already set up in a compound. But when it comes down to them having to make that push, having to create that first engagement, and they're not going to be able to be set, that's when we saw one of their biggest downfalls, especially from last year at PUBG Mobile Esports when we got a chance to see them play. I'm, I'm sure they've been working on it, but right now it's currently backfiring as one of the players is currently knocked. Tough one to try and find a little bit of that recuperation, but at least for that they've got coops, right? So coops with the recoups that could maybe be exactly what they need to do. We were talking about uh, Lepovka as well, right? We did see Syria mounting a pretty aggressive push. It seems 
like they also decided to rather disengage and head back in towards the zone. So there could be even more pressure now starting to mount up in towards this Pachinki region. So regardless of what, what's happening here already, the Xavier and Nigma, right, they got to make a very decisive play here. They are encouraging currently being able to get a great angle as Koops is going to be making that push. There it comes down this shot. Is he going to be able to hit some more? He's not. That means that they might be able to actually pick up their player, which is impressive considering how far they were away from him. And look at that. You can't even see the health bar, DK. He was literally at possibly 0 0.01 HP, and they're able to bring him back to life. Uh, talk about a close call, right? That is definitely what they had to deal with. <laughs> Speaking of which, up comes now V, right? They're like, you know what? It's about time. Let's move up to church. Let's see who's knocking around, and maybe we can start kicking some butts all over the place. Navi, you don't want any of this. Just keep on moving. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to be doing as we're able to see it right there on the map. But for some reason, with the engagement still going on, guess what? Furia being able to rotate out. We didn't see any of the other teams, though. We didn't get a chance to see in Hyper. We didn't get a chance to see Virtus Pro being able to rotate, and that's because that engagement just took a little bit too long. And the loser, if we do have to end up picking one here out of this hot drop, is going to end up being Virtus Pro as only one player is currently alive and he doesn't have that much shields or vehicles to try to make it all the way to the west where the circle's currently at. I think at this point he's not going to be, uh, you know, I, I don't think he's going to be all so hopeful because I think that blue zone does pack quite a bit of a bunch when it wants to. Fortunately it's still stage 2 so they could maybe be some sliver of hope somewhere. And I mean speaking about slivers of hope, right? Maybe 6 they can find at this point rather isolated for this the team we are seeing the backup now starting to pull on him but look at oh. this it just hits what? talk about missing your shots or the shots not being able to connect right there i honestly thought that the navi player was going to be able to surprise this mode game player but that didn't end up happening oh okay <laughs> that is that has to be one of the biggest surprise so far for me i thought that was going to be an easy knock and he was going to be able to possibly help reset his team wow okay i mean, i just, just got to remind myself it's prelim seven slow down <laughs> calm down <laughs> sign sealed delivered Ooh, top took themselves down i think they were maybe moving up in a convertible and they tried to take the top down but they pressed the wrong button and then top went down as opposed to the roof but you know whichever way i guess it works uh yeah still back over it towards lovely Pichinki. uh nigma and d xavier they've not really made any decisive plays i mean the blues aren't swooping on in it's gonna start clearing house and i mean this is now going to be a very essential play for both these teams if they're looking to get back in zone yeah, and that blue zone now is starting to cause a little bit more damage. It's going to end up affecting these players when they do end up fighting. So they need to make a decision and they need to make the decision quick because if I'm not mistaken, right now, Dick Xavier is going to be in the best position to hopefully find a vehicle in that garage. I don't think Nick McGalaxy. There you go, Nick McGalaxy. This is the right choice. This is what you need to do. As Dick Xavier now is going to be trying to make that push towards them and trying to clear every single thing possible. All else fails, they can always just run, Forrest, run. It's going to be a long, long way to go, though. But I like the fact here that we see Koops and Co. starting to try and get up ahead of a potential rotation coming through from the Xavier. It's a, a, a good strategy, but Freaks also keeping it nice, down and quiet. You do see the heads starting to line on up. Freaks now springing into action, does miss out on the heads. But, uh, well, it's keeping the Xavier to kind of pin down in the compound. It is, but as you're going to be able to see here, especially for Freak, he is not going to have that much heals. He needs to make a decision, and I feel like this engagement is taking a little bit too long with how far away from their circle they currently are. They, if I'm Nick McGalaxy, I would say, you know what, all right, we didn't end up, nobody ended up benefiting for this. Hot drop, let's just back off. The Savior needs to be the aggressive team as they are trying to make the aggressive push here onto Freak, but they could possibly end up exposing themselves here to the players that you were mentioning, like Lord, like Hoops. Anything can happen here with this engagement, and look at the hills that they currently are at. Look at the, how, how their health is currently positioning themselves. These teams are fighting for Chinky. Meanwhile, everybody's currently sending themselves out there towards Hospital, towards Everest. They're taking too long, DK. Yeah, dude, it's going to be a big uphill battle for a lot of them, and Hoops now getting picked up as we do see Nate just locking in the spray. 
but I mean, they're gonna have to make something happen here because we're about to, you know, get to all the way to phase four, and the blue zone, it's not your friend, right? Especially this late uh, into the early game, so you've gotta get those moves cracking and see whether or not three can find any planes. Persian up top, ooh, cooking some nades, looking to let them loose, but instead finds himself. Oh. Harajin with the backfire and then Freak forgets that he throws a mala on top and guess what? We got a double whammy, baby. We got a double whammy as the pressure kind of got to them. They're currently talking to each other saying, well, that, that didn't go according to plan, boys. Maybe we don't hot drop each other anymore here in Pochinki. And if we do, we'll make it happen a little bit faster too. Talking about some of the other players that were knocked earlier. I think this Savior might be able to pick up their flare. Coops now getting knocked again because of the blue zone and lore is gonna have to back up so these savior in a way they do end up being the winners of this engagement lore oh wow they're actually not even backing up they can, they're they're committing to this fight they're committing for these extra points instead of committing for the full for the full marathon of the game i mean at least it's just lore that's here right but lord i mean just locking in those sprays Rauf playing a little bit safe right Rauf has now decided to get themselves positioned back up and towards zone Virtus pro is going to be the next team to fall lord though not done with the xavier right want to get a little bit of that vengeance play a little bit of repayment but i mean the xavier oh. Oh, beautiful nade onto lord beautiful beautiful grenades there by perigen guess what he's able to redeem himself after what happened there earlier we've had the smart play as he fully ended up backing up and nigma galaxy is going to be looking at each other and be just kind of scratching their heads as to why they continue on with just keeping on that fight. Lore was able to knock somebody. There was knocks back and forth with this team, especially for Nygma Galaxy. But for a team that was starting off after the first match in second place, boy, they could have definitely taken advantage of that second place. Not what you want to see there towards the top, as now we actually move towards we're closer to the circle. <laughs> Teams that are currently not in the blue, like Team Liquid. Yeah, Team Liquid, though, I mean, they don't have that far left to go, but this is going to be an interesting one, looking at how they're going to be looking to rotate up, right? Are they going to up towards the north? Are they going to go to the south? Or are they just going to wing it and push straight in towards the western side? Speaking about tough plays, though, it's going to be Rauf now having to defend, uh, or trying to, as 9Z rolling on through, cleaning up, and off they go, rolling back in towards the north. Down, down to 12. You wanna know what's crazy, DK? Look at this team that we're currently looking at. And a hyper, the team that started off with possibly one of the furthest hot drops all the way to the east of the map. They end up making it to the circle and they actually end up being one of the only teams that's currently in a, in a semi-good position within that circle. And now you have other teams like these Savior, Nigma Galaxy is not even here. Oh man. You know what? First day, first couple yeah. games, I'll, I'll give him a break. I'll give him a break. But boy, this happens again later on in the day. That's, I'm just going to be scratching my head. I mean, but I guess that's what happens when you're out there sipping on some blue juice, right? Too much of it is not that good for you. Sometimes a little bit of a taste, I think, would suffice. Speaking of taste, <laughs> Team Liquid getting sipped up here, as you can see. That's <laughs> it.
go.
Karena gembira ya
frequently occur due to your internet connection. Android to PC high quality में screen mirroring करने के लिए आज से करीब चार पांच
do I'm in land sweet Daddy just try run Follow my lead Found a girl, beautiful and sweet. As I never knew you heard the song. Waiting for me, where were the skates when we fell in love? Let's play a different mode. Let's play a different mode. Get so I can hear you. Hello, Mrs. Siri. Thank you. Thank you, whoever keep watching the live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty-five enemy. Twenty-five enemies. Watch out. Mark the location. Watch out. Mark the location. Mark the location.
Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Cosa vuoi vedere? Non mi viene. Arrivo ai chi arrivo ai chi. Yeah, bitch. That. अरे भाई किधर मरा ये रोन में तेरे छोरों ने कहाँ बड़ा है ने बे लो मोटा गांड वो इन्होंने बोले तो वो तो सुबह तो करा ओ करा एक कहाँ हरा सुबह दिमी की और सुबह हाँ चार बार देख सुबह ये लाला ये गेम बेसी आओ ना तो गेम आने बहुत सी चलाओ यूट्यूब ये देखो सब मेरा Hello, hello, hello. Where is on my YouTube? Golly lucky, golly lucky. Hello, this is a funny hammer, miss. Miss, funny hammer. Calling it 
Thanks. Yeh ron mati ko chora recall karnu porsche mai kuri. Bhaiya log, hamko bhi recall karna padega. Tumko ismo karo ki kya karo ki tum chhut ke jao ki kya karo ki yar. Number three three team puri bag mein bol rahe ho. Aisu ki toh yani mai aayegi. Yeh to bot rahe jo, yeh bot le maarne boya. Mala chhut aani ho ta. Kon maarega na isko? Ye. तो आइडेंसी बोल चल भाई तो ये मार बोल ला तो ये मार चिड़ चिड़ तो एनी मिले मार ऑन चिड़ मार 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 ओ सही बात है अंटी नमस्कार यूट्यूब बागो येरा सब्सक्राइब कर दी ना Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. I am sure you will recall me, bro. I'm not worried. Number three, bag. Okay, team. I have got a gun with you. Team, no joke. Yeah. I am sure you will recall me, bro. I'm not worried. I just recall you also. गर्दे बसेको होला के गरेछ होला सोचेर बस्ने भए होला मैले चाहिँ पेन प्रब्लम छुट्टि भयो छ मेरो काम यही हो आई एम रिकॉलिंग अ टीममेट लोडिक छ थैंक्स इमिटेशन कता Hello, number one and two. Hello, number one and two. Number three is bringing some party. Hello. Buja na tinda. Mga basil buja na tinda. Laran. Hehehehe, bro. लो मैं करी हम क्या करें अकेले बंदे क्या करेगा इतना दुख सुख करके हमने रिकल कर दिया भाई लोग सब समाप्त राम राम सत्य <laughs> अब तो रिकल नहीं होगी भाई यार हो नहीं सकता हो नहीं सकता देखो भाई हम भी जाके मरते हैं हम भी ओके व्हाई डू दिस पीपल रेडी टू डाइ हम उड़ेंगे आसमान में अब हम आसमान में उड़ेंगे ऐसे उड़ेगा ना दोस्त हम उड़ गए हम उड़ पड़े हम उड़ गए हम उड़ गए हम उड़ गए आसमान में उड़ गए हम
अरे तू कुछ नहीं कर पाएगा रे हमको कुछ नहीं कर पाएगा ला डूम डूम आकाश में घूम आकाश में डूम दो दे घूम हेलो हेलो ब्यूटीफुल पीपल Everybody wanna see my girl. Everybody wanna take those out away. Hello guys, keep tapping on my screen. Your screen, my tap has been hey. Well, just tap on the screen and support my live guys. Just want you to support on my live watching. Hello, 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 hello.
Anna pa yun yana yes yes to ina ano? Mato yar usan siya, mato yar may ano? Mato ina yung game ay ano? Ano libre ka siya? Ano libre sa iyo? Ano libre? Klebe, klebe, klebe. Ano mina mo ano? Ano may kulon last so lang. Okay, Miramar, let's go, let's go, Miramar, let's go, Miramar. No, 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 no. Miramar. I don't know where the matches will be starting, yo. No. I'm into Harry Kohari. आला नगर में हर तेरह साल बच्चा आला
पांच मिनट भो रन मत मुख साउंड जो बंद है, आये। राइट साइड को चिकेन में गए चिकेन में आवाज कस्त नबुझिने
Hello, Baya. What are you doing? I'm doing a lot of work. I'm doing a lot of work. Hello, Sri Lanka. Hello, Sri Lanka. Mana yang ada di sini? Ada ikan aku tarik ya, Maya. Ada ini kemaru, re. Ia banding ya, kerjanya tu re. Beats. That's the lamb or that's the daddy. Help! So, yeah. Turn it, Cardinal Ray! So, this is why they don't know luck, so, you know, you know, Mala is the luck, so. सही क्या भैया जी मेरे पास काफी फाइव के एमओ है You know this the one I go more as I don't
तुम्हारे गागते की मौत जब मैं सब कहेंगे मग मद अरे कैसे बच गया भाई तू कैसे निकल हो गया ऐसे ही निकल हो गया माय गॉड इतना लॉक किया तुम्हारे के पास अपने आप भी निकल होते हो भाई यार तुम यार नाइस नाइस आई लाइक इट आई लाइक इट ब्रो प्रेस कंट्रोल्स लॉक एंड लॉक माउस पेज इधर आजा वो आ गया डूंगी आ गया डूंगी शॉटगन ले ले भाई शॉटगन है इधर मेरे वो इसे चेंज डी लोकेशन नाउ मेरे वो इसे चेंज डी लोकेशन नाउ ब्राउ Guys, come on, guys, get in the car, guys. Come on, let's go. Come on, get in the car. Okay, number four is coming, coming. Number two is coming. Come, 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 come bro. Get in, get in quick. Let's hurry, let's hurry up. Just help me, help me subscribe my channel. Just help me. I'm a new streamer. Mark the location. No, well, 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 well. Let's, let's, let's come. Let's stay here now.
flag! No, no! Yeah, buddy. No, bro, no, bro, go, bro, no, no, recall me, bro, recall me, bro, no, no, number three, number three, no. Record, reload, 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 reload. Reload, car gun, yeah, gun, reload, car, na, bhai. Bhai, portal use karke back to yahan se. Reload, reload, gun, reload. अरे पोर्टल यूज करके भाग यार मेरे को रिकल कर दे भाई हट रिकॉल मी दिन दिस रिकॉल मी दिस पुअर एस दिन रिकॉल मी या Dad, you know, high level, one hundred and 